What's up guys, Evil Deer here, and welcome back to another Esperanto slash World of Warcraft lesson. Let's just start it. Oh, awesome. So I've just, like, come back into the game in this area where everything's being killed by this random dude. Thanks, thanks a lot, random dude. Okay, so we're just going to begin with some revision, like always. So what is the word for animal? It is besto, besto. And do you remember the word for cougar? It is pumo, pumo. And what about vulture? It is Vulturo, Vulturo. And how do you ask uh, questions that are looking for a yes or no response? That is Chu. So you could, for instance, say, um, is that a human? Um, you'd say, Chu Tio estas homo. Remember, I taught you human way, way back at the very beginning lessons. The word for human is homo. Now, uh, what was the word for on? It was sud, and what about above? It was super. Okay, oh god, I'm on fire, I'm on fire, just get out of the fire. Okay, and what was the word for in front of? Awesome, I've got that. It is antal. Now, ne, as I taught you in the previous lesson, means no, but it's also used for negating verbs. So, where we would say in English, um, uh, isn't or um, basically yeah just from negating wherever you would turn a verb negative in English that's where you'd use ne and it always goes before the thing is negating in Esperanto okay so how would we say let's just see let's uh, what do we got um, how would you say the goblin is next to uh, the dwarf now he's not actually like right next to him um, but just for the sake of this little learning exercise La coboldo estas apud la nano. Cool. Awesome. You guys are great. I just got myself some pantalono. Let me just check out if that's better than my current one. It is. It is. Awesome. I'm moving up in the world. Okay. Now let's... What we're going to do in this lesson is I want to focus a bit more on plurals. Now I've touched on plurals in the previous lessons. A little bit every now and then when I accidentally mention them. But this one we're, we're going to... Start learning some numbers and then some plurals. So, first up, the word for number one in Esperanto is unu, unu. And the word for two is du, du. Pretty easy to remember that one because it sounds like two. And the word for three is tri, tri. So, pretty easy so far. We're only going to stick with three numbers in this lesson, make it nice and easy for you guys. Now, to say one goblin in Esperanto, you'd say, if you really wanted to specify the number, you would say, unu koboldo. But to say two goblins, like we have just here, so unu du, so one is unu, du is two, so to say two, you'd say, du koboldoi. Now you'll notice that the difference between those is that the ending sound on the um, noun for goblin has changed okay now I'm pretty sure I've killed enough of these guys yes I have so I don't know what I'm actually doing here let's just loot these so yeah it's changed so normally a noun in Esperanto when in singular ends with an o sound when it's in plural it ends with an oi sound similar to the sound in boy so one human is unu homo two humans is du homo now, based on that, what would you think is the way to say three werewolves? Tri hom lupoi. Tri hom lupoi. I'm not even going to get out of this fire. I'm too lazy. Oh, no. Yeah, I am getting out of it. I changed my mind. I'm very indecisive like that. Awesome. So, how would you say... Look, there we go. We've got um kind of... Uh, okay, we've got like three pine trees here. So how would you say three pine trees? You would say tri pinoi, pinoi. So no matter what, every single noun in Esperanto, when it goes into plural, it ends with an oi sound. Now, in Esperanto, adjectives agree with their nouns. And basically what that means in us laymen speak is that if the noun has a change at the end to become a plural, 
Its adjective, so the word describing it, also changes at the end to become plural. Now, normally, adjectives end in an a uh sound. You remember, for instance, granda and hita um, and dorsa. Those are all adjectives because they end in an a uh sound. But when they go into plural, that changes into an i sound. So, for instance, um, one big dog, oh, not dog, sorry, one big wolf is unu granda lupo, okay? Unu granda lupo. I'm putting an emphasis on the end vowels there so you can kind of hear them. But to say two big wolves is du grandai lupoi, okay? Do you hear the i and the oi sound? That's basically how um, plurals work in Esperanto. So we're just going to focus on that a little bit in this lesson. So how would you say one uh, cougar? Unu humo. And how would you say three cougars? Tri pumoi. Awesome. Now let me just check the map to see where I'm going to go. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it right here and I'll jump right back as soon as I get to the next spot. Okay, and I'm back. Okay, so what we're going to learn now is how to make some basic verb sentences. So I'm just going to hand these quests in quickly. Score, I've gone up a level. Give me the good stuff. Yes, I want a star. So let me just put that on quickly. Okay, so we're going to learn how to say I'm walking to and I'm walking away from. Okay, so the way to say, let's just find where I've got to go. So the way to say I'm walking to the um, plane strider is me iras al la campa struto. So you've heard iras al. So iras is present tense go and it's also used for walk. Okay, when you, you're you not trying to specify any style of walking, you're just walking. So me, as you probably know by now, is a pronoun for I. So me iras is I'm going or I'm walking and al means to. So, how would you say, I'm walking to the vulture? Mi iras al la vulturo. Mi iras al la vulturo. Okay, cool. I'm just going to loot his stuff as well. Give me that femurajo. I love a good femurajo. Okay, now, guess how we would... Well, don't guess, actually. I'm going to tell you because I haven't taught you. Why would I be torturing you like that? Okay, so to say, I'm walking away from the vulture... We'd say, mi iras de la vulturo. So you've heard there's one difference in that sentence, and that's the word de. So de means from, okay? So iras al means going to, and iras de means going away from, okay? Or going from. So let me just quickly check what I've got to do here. I've got to get some of these dudes here. So I've got to take out these harpies. Okay. Ah, let me just kill this. Um, lupo, la lupo esta sur mi. Do you remember what that means? It means the wolf is on me. La lupo esta sur mi. Now he wasn't like physically on top of me or anything, but it's close, close enough, close enough. Normally sur means only like on top of, like um, like on physical placement, but that's good enough for me. I'm not going to be like pedantic and stuff about that. Okay, so how would you say I'm walking to the pine tree? Mi iras al la pino. And how would you say, I'm walking away from the vulture? Mi iras de la vulturo. Oh, what? My inventory is full. No! Okay, that's all good. That's all good. Okay, so how would you say, I'm walking to... Um, actually, no, I'm going to teach you a new word. So the word for mountain is monto. Monto. So how would you say, I'm walking to the mountain? Mi iras al la monto. Very good, very good. Have I got room? Yes. Yes, got, I've got room for that stuff. Okay, so how would you say I'm walking from or like away from the mountain? Mi iras de la monto. Mi iras de la monto. Now, you remember in the previous lesson, I taught you the word for is. Can you remember what that is? It's estas. And remember the word for was is estis. And how I told you that us at the end means present tense and is means past tense. Well, iras is a verb. And it basically means, let me just loot this. As I said, it means 
going to, but it's present tense. Ir us, us is present tense. So then past tense to say I was going to is it is. So how would you say I was going to the mountain? Mi iris alla monto. And how would you say I um, walked away from the mountain? Mi iris del monto. Very good, very good. Now we're going to learn the word for now. So the word for now is nun. Nun. So how would you say I'm now walking towards the pine tree? Just, just have a go. Mi nun iras al la pino. So that's, I'm now going towards the pine tree. I think that's the question I asked you. Sorry if I mix that one up, but yeah. All good. So how would you say, I'm now walking away from the village. Mi nun iras de la villaggio. Mi nun iras de la villaggio. Okay, let's loot these guys. Now I'm going to try and keep these lessons a bit shorter. I've been accidentally going over like 20 minutes with each lesson, so I'm just going to try and cut them down a bit, which means we're coming towards the end of our lesson. So I'm going to head over here. I'm going to, oh, that's a bit of a walk. Okay, so I'm just going to practice a few things along the way. We're going to do some revision. So how would you say, um, I'm not walking towards the mountain? Mine iras alla monto. Mine iras alla monto. And how would you say, I'm not walking away from the vulture? Mine iras della vulturo. Mine iras della vulturo. Okay, and how would you say, um, the wolf is next to the pine trees? That's a plural. La lupo estas apud la pinoi. Oi, remember the oi sound. Whoa, why is the ground shaking? Oh man, look at these buggers. Okay, I thought I was going to die then from something. Okay, so how would you say the vulture is next to the um, plane strider? La vulturo estas apud la campo struto. Okay, very good, very good. And what was the way to say on? It was sur. And how do you say I'm walking, or oh, I'm now walking towards the village? Mi nun iras alla villaggio. Awesome. And how do you say I was walking away from uh, the camp? So remember all the tents. Mi iris de la tendado. Mi iris de la tendado. Awesome. And just a last little bit. What was the word for big? It was granda. Granda. And how do you say plane strider? It was campastruto. And how would you say plane striders? So plural. Campai strutoi. Okay. Awesome, so we've reached the end of this lesson for now. Um, if you've liked it, give it a like. Share with your friends. Keep up the awesome work, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. And if you're not there, well, guess what I'll be leaving behind me? <laughs> if you didn't get the joke, that's your corpse, by the way. <laughs> Bye.